Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing good. In this video tutorial, I will discuss about Power Automate Update SharePoint list items with the Excel items, which means in this video, you are going to get updating of the SharePoint list with the data present in the Excel. Along with this, I will also explain how to update the existing SharePoint list item column values. Let's open the Power Automate homepage. So to open the Power Automate homepage, you can type make.powerautomate.com in the browser. If you are already logged in with your Office 365 credentials, then it will automatically navigate to the Power Automate homepage. So here I have already designed the flow for this scenario because creating the flow here, it will consume the time and I will explain what are the steps and what are the functions I have taken in this flow detailed in a detailed way. So let me explain the scenario first. Let's go to the SharePoint list. Here, this is the SharePoint list I do have, which contains employee ID, employee name, joining date, department, permanent address, along with the PF included, which is a Boolean yes or no type column. Along with this, I also have the Excel sheet, which contains the same column names. If you have observed, the SharePoint list will only contain the two items, but in the Excel sheet, it contains the four items. Now I wanted to update this two items to the SharePoint list. For this, let's go to the Power Automate. Uh, I have taken the scheduled Cloudflow here because it will trigger on a daily basis and it will check the items present in a Excel sheet and update the Excel items to the SharePoint list. In the intervals, take it as a one and with the frequency as a day. After that, to get the items from the Excel sheet, we need to take list rows present in a table action, which will get the Excel data. So there are parameters in this action, which is a location where the Excel file is saved and the document library, you can choose from the dropdown where it has present uh, and the file and the file path, if you go and open the folder, it will display all the locations where your file is present. My file is stored in the documents. So I have selected documents and when it navigates here, uh, this is the employee details file. So I have selected this one. And when you click on the drop down, select the table. After that, Next, take the get items action, which is a SharePoint action. This action will retrieve the SharePoint list items. So give the site address and the list name. When you click on the show all, it will show all the advanced parameter. Now I will give the filter query, which will match. Uh, when you come here to the employee details Excel sheet, there is a employee ID. This is the parameter I will choose to match it with the SharePoint list. So based on the employee ID, it will retrieve the items. So in the Power Automate get items action, let me give the filter query. Here the fil uh, here I was giving the filter query based on the employee ID. This employee ID is the title column. So title always in the filter query add the internal name of a column so internal name of a column is title after that is equals to eq represents equals to and within the quotes i will take the dynamic content of employee id from the excel sheet so this is the filter query i have taken which will match both the employee ids in the excel as well as in the sharepoint list so let me close this one after that i will take a condition here i haven't added any condition let me give the condition here by choosing the function so this get items will fetch the items from the sharepoint list which will match the items with the excel data here i was giving the function as like length from the dynamic content body or values take take the value of body or value add is equals to zero 
items in a SharePoint list if the item was not present, which means if the length is equals to zero, then we will add a create item. So whatever the items it was not present in the SharePoint list, it will fetch the items from the Excel and it will add into the SharePoint list. This is what the length function do in the condition I have given in the condition. In the true branch, take the create item action with the site address and the list name and give the title here as employee ID. In the employee name, take the employee name, joining date as joining date uh, from the dynamic content of list rows present in a table, as well as uh, when if you can observe here in the department. Uh, it will ask you to add the department value but when we go to the dynamic content it won't show the it won't show the department even if you are take it will even if you are taking the department from the dynamic content it won't add into the department value for this we need to give the function which will add and retrieve the item only from the department here we are retrieving the department value take item with the question mark brackets in the single quote go back to your excel sheet here we need the value from the department so just copy it we need to copy the same name which is present in the excel sheet and go to the power automate flow let's paste it here click on add you can see then it will add the department value for the permanent address you can take it from the dynamic content the pf included is a s or no type column so it will only take the boolean value in the power automate s or no will represent as true or false so it won't take the s directly it will only take in the form of true or false so for that i was adding the function if equals item item question mark in the brackets with the quotes take the pf included column name pf included column name and put it down here in comma s in the single quotes after that again comma take true or false click on add uh, pf included will contain the s then it will return it in the form of true where the true will be stored in the sharepoint list as s which is a boolean value now i have created the flow let's click on save and test the flow once and test the flow here i will test it manually click on test run flow now the flow gets start running meanwhile let if you are interested let me introduce myself i am chandrika working in ts info technologies as a power platform consultant you can reach us out for any power platform solution. We can provide the best solution in a reasonable price. And if you are interested, you can also take a look at our courses. This is a free train, free Microsoft Power Platform training course. Uh, here you can get all the trainings related to Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Uh, you can get the videos step by step. If you are a beginner, you can learn from here. You can learn it from here uh, so let's go back to our power automate flow uh, you can see the power automate flow has ran successfully and let's go back to our let's go back to our sharepoint list when we here uh, see um, this is the two items when we refresh the page it has been added two more items which is employee 3 and employee 4 id with all the values uh, now let me edit let me edit this one
let me edit this one and here you can see i have edited i have removed the permanent address of employee one and uh, the pf included columns of employee three employee four and uh, the employee four uh, permanent address also i have removed so i wanted to update the existing uh, sharepoint list items with the values of permanent address and the pf included go back to our power automate flow once click on edit when the true condition matches it will create the item but now as it comes to the false condition in the false condition i have given to update the existing sharepoint list items i have taken compose action in the compose action uh, i have taken the same thing which we have done in the true condition of pf included if equals item question mark pf included within the quotes if it is if it is s yes, then it is true and or false click on update uh, after that i have taken one more compose action for the permanent address which is a permanent address uh, after that i have taken update item in the update item when we are taking set the parameters as site address and the list name in uh, for the id if you are taking the id from the get items then will then it will add the for each loop by taking the body or value from the get items this is because because we wanted to update the particular item from the sharepoint list which it will fetch based on the id after that now i wanted to add the permanent i wanted to update the permanent address column as well as in the uh, pf included column here you can get a doubt like why i have taken compose action to take if equals function here as well as in the permanent address because if you are taking the dynamic content of excel here directly it, it will throw an error because because in the for each it has taken the values of body or value it won't take the dynamic content here in the update item action so i have added the compose action about to the update item action if you are uh, confused about this you can also check out the blog post i will i will attach in the video description so now let me click on save and test the flow save and test the flow test the flow now you can see whether whether the existing sharepoint list items will be getting updated with the values or not so click on run flow click on done now the flow should run in the false branch as you can see the flow has been ran successfully and the false branch has now you can see whatever the fields i have whatever the column values i have removed in permanent address as well as in the pf included it has been again updated so this is how to update existing sharepoint list item column values by using the power automate i hope you guys like the video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel thank you let's see you back again in the another video with more interested topics in power automate thank you bye bye